straightforward, clear, as are the provisions. It's the advantage of working on it for so long. First, the recognition. It says this, in recognition of Aboriginal and Torres Strait Islander peoples as the first peoples of Australia. That's what it says. Simple, clear, straightforward. Then the what? There shall be a body to be called the Aboriginal and Torres Strait Islander voice. Again, straightforward, clear. The second provision, the Aboriginal and Torres Strait Islander voice may make representations to the parliament and the executive government of the Commonwealth on matters relating to Aboriginal and Torres Strait Islander peoples. That's the what. What will it do? That's what it will do. Straightforward, clear, unambiguous. And then the how, including a clear declaration of the primacy of our parliament. It says this, point three, the parliament shall, subject to this constitution, have power to make laws with respect to matters relating to Ab the Aboriginal and Torres Strait Islander voice, including its composition, functions, powers and procedures. Again, pretty clear, pretty straightforward. Recognition, listening to advice, Parliament continuing as decision maker. That is the clear, positive and practical request from Indigenous Australians. That is the handout asking us, non-Indigenous Australia, to just grasp that hand of friendship. And that is what we can vote yes for. My fellow Australians, our Australian story goes back 65,000 years. And what a privilege we have of sharing this continent with the oldest continuous culture on earth. Yeah. But our story is not finished yet. It's up to all of us to write the next chapter together. And we can start by writing one word, yes. <laughs> In the history of our great nation, the wonderful acts of national progress and the great advances in fairness have always required hard work. There were arguments here when South Australia, something they're very proud of and should be, led the world in giving women the right to vote. <laughs> there were arguments made against federation and the minimum wage, Medicare and multiculturalism. And before the 1967 referendum, before Vincent Lingari, before Mabo, before the apology. But the great story of our country through the generations is that Australians come together to answer these calls for change. We rise to the moment. Like the kangaroo and the emu on our coat of arms, they never go backwards, they just go forwards. <laughs> 